To create a site survey with the RPAS Wilco app, you'll first need to click the Create Site Survey button. You will be brought to the new mission screen. At the top, you can select the pilot in command and the RPAS that you will be using for the mission. Underneath that, you can select an observer or a payload operator if you already have them set up in the app. I don't. So below the drop down menu, there's an empty text field where you can input the name of your observer or payload operator. Finally, at the bottom, you can set the radius in which the mission will take place and the maximum altitude the mission will go to. Once you're happy with all of this, click the arrow in the top right corner. To set the location of your site survey, you can either click on the magnifying glass, which will take you to an address bar, or you can click the pinpoint, which will bring you to a coordinates bar, where you can input the GPS coordinates of your location if it does not have a address. You will immediately be brought to the location that you selected and a drone icon will automatically be placed on your screen along with the pilot and command icon and the observer and payload operator if you selected any. To move any of the icons, all you gotta do is tap and hold. And you wanna put the hat icon where the pilot and command will be standing during the flight. The same goes for the observer and the payload operator, which are represented by the binoculars and joystick respectively. And the drone icon represents where the takeoff zone will be. You'll notice around the drone icon is a white circle that represents the radius that the mission will take place in. The size of the circle is modified by the radius slider that was in the previous menu, which you can go back to by clicking on the arrow in the top left corner if you need. In the bottom right corner is an indicator which tells you what type of airspace you're operating in. On the right you will also find a plus icon. Here you can add additional markers, such as people or obstacles. You can use the obstacle markers to mark where obstacles are going to be. And same thing with the people icon, so you can indicate where people could potentially be. You'll notice that if you tap the obstacle icon or the people icon, there'll be a little menu at the top. You can use the icons to add a photo or file of the obstacle, or you can write a note about the obstacle, or you can just delete the marker. You can click the arrow in the top right corner to continue. Next, you will have the option to pick the time and date of the mission, and at the top you can see the name of the mission, which you can change if you so desire. As you can guess, when you're done, you can click the arrow in the top right corner of the screen to bring you on to the next step, which is uh, the terms and conditions. Exciting! Once you click the submit button, the app will generate a site survey for you. This should only take a few moments. Two seconds later. Alright, once you're back from your exciting waiting period, click the menu icon in the top right and then select the mission option on the left and that will bring you to a list of your missions. Make sure to refresh it by pulling down and then you will see the mission that you created and all of the associated details. At the bottom you'll be able to view the site survey that the app has generated for you. So look at all this work that we've done in what, two minutes? The site survey even comes with the relevant CFS pages. Now from here you can also access the checklist and the flight logs, but those are beyond the scope of this video. Next to the name of your mission is a copy icon. Clicking that will clone the mission. It will bring you to a duplicate new mission page. You can change the parameters if you wish, or you can leave it exactly the same to have a completely duplicate mission. You can also access this information on the desktop by clicking the mission dropdown on the left and then the missions option underneath that. That will bring you to a list of your active or planned missions. Click on the one that you want and you'll see all of the information associated with that mission, including a screenshot of the map with all the markers that you placed. At the bottom right, you can view the site survey by clicking view PDF. And then in the top right, you can download or print or do whatever you want with this information. And that's how you create a site survey with the RPS Wilco app.